What temperature should you keep it at in your home during the summer? That's what we're going to talk about here today on Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family gear on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family swag, here's your chance to wear the same stuff we wear out in the field. Some people who might be moving into a new home or are just using their central AC for the first time want to know what temperature they should keep it at in their homes during the summer. There's a few answers depending on who you ask, so let's talk about those differences now. Energy Star is a voluntary program led by the EPA and Department of Energy that helps businesses and people figure out ways to save money on their electric bills. Now, Energy Star says that you should keep it at 78 degrees in your house when you're at home. And they also say that when you're away from home, you should keep it at 84 degrees. Energy Star rated thermostats already have these predetermined temperatures set in them and you're able to adjust those temperatures whenever and however you choose as the owner of the thermostat. SMUD and PG&E are our local utility providers here in Northern California. SMUD follows the U.S. Department of Energy when they suggest setting your thermostats at 78 degrees when you're at home and setting it up to 10 degrees higher for those times when you're not at home. Have you ever seen someone turn the dial on the thermostat all the way down to like 50 degrees when they want the air conditioner to come on? Several things can go wrong here and it doesn't get any cooler any faster in the house when you do this. What can happen is you forget to turn the thermostat back off when you're done needing the cool air and this leads to sky high electric bills and a home that sees extreme temperature changes throughout the day. So what temperature should I keep it at? Well it's simple. It's whatever temperature you want it to be at. Let's say the temperature in your home is like 78 degrees. Are you comfortable? If not, try lowering your temperature one to two degrees and see if that helps. Still not satisfied? Set the temperature down even more. If you find yourself the most comfortable at 74 degrees, then so be it. You're the king of your castle and you can set it to whatever you want it to be. For example, I work in the HVAC industry, right? Well, in the summer, I spend long hot days fixing other people's AC systems. By the time I get home, all I want is a nice cool place to sit and relax. I usually want it about 72 degrees in the home. Now some people might think that's crazy and some people might think that that's not cool enough. My coworkers sometimes want it down to 68 degrees in their home during the summertime. Other folks who may work inside in normal environments where temperatures aren't soaring around 120 degrees are just fine with their home temperatures at or above 78 degrees. A person who keeps their AC at 78 degrees in their home will have the AC come on less than a person who desires it to be 68 degrees in their house. Your AC is the most expensive thing to run in your house and that's a pretty big spread too between 68 degrees and 78 degrees inside the home. Consider buying a thermostat that sets back at predetermined times. Energy Star says it can save you $180 a year by switching to a setback type thermostat. This allows you to set your thermostat for times of the day when you're coming and going. For instance, the Honeywell thermostats that we use want to know what time you wake up, what time you go to work, what time you come home, and then what time you go to bed. These four major events in your family's daily lives can determine what temperature it'll be in the house. At Fox Family, we can easily set a program for you for the weekdays and then set it for the weekends. Folks who are in their homes the majority of the day or don't have a schedule where they work during the week can set it up for just what time you wake up and what time you go to bed. Really any combination is available as Honeywell lets you decide on your terms. And if you have one of these programmable thermostats and you don't feel comfortable setting a program on the thermostat, call or text us and we'll come out and show you how to do it. It really doesn't matter which brand of thermostat it is either because we're familiar with all different types of them and we just want to make sure that you're comfy in your home. Well, I hope this answers your questions as to what temperature you should set the thermostat in your house during the summer. These sunny and hot Sacramento summers can really drive you bonkers with the fact that we need to cool ourselves and our homes down. Set it to whatever temperature you're comfortable at and that's the right temperature. Just remember that as long as your AC is on, your electric usage is going to go up 
and somebody's got to pay for that too. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Folks are in, folks who are in their homes for the majority of, folks who are in the, <clears throat> folks who are, <clears throat> folks who are in their homes. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.